Hi loves, welcome back to another vlog. So today I'm just gonna be showing you a few snippets of our day, I guess. Um, we got a new vacuum. It's a robot vacuum, so I'm excited to share that with you. Um, we actually got it sometime last week and we've been using it and trying it out. So I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on that. Um, and yeah, just kinda share with you guys what we do today. Today is Friday, which I'm so excited. Tomorrow's the weekend, so we have a few things planned. And yeah, I just can't wait. I'm excited. <laughs> Okay guys, we got a new little gadget for the house. It is one of those vacuum robots. And I will link it below, but you can get it on Amazon. I believe it was around $200. Mia's curious. Oh, I don't think she's gonna like this, but there it is. <laughs> it just arrived today, so let's go ahead and open it let's open it up we have a lot of carpet in our house so i think i'm just gonna keep this little guy in the kitchen dining area where it's mostly floors hopefully we'll see and the other one already came off okay look how sleek it looks cool then it has comes with a bunch of these guys. Oof. Magnets? Is that a magnet? Ooh, it's a little dock. and a remote control so I placed our robot vacuum over here in the dining room for the meantime I just haven't found any other spots for it yet but this one seems to be working so this is the app right here it's just a key vol. I think that's how you say it at least and it was super super easy to connect you guys um, you just pick what kind of vacuum you have and we have the E20 and here it is it's actually charging um, for some reason I think Liam might have knocked it out of the charging station so it needs to charge but you could also set schedules for every single day I have it actually going at 8 a.m. but I'm going to postpone it since it is not charged. So to change this you just click it and you can change it to whatever time you want it to. So I'll postpone it till 9 a.m. today and yeah and you can actually start it whenever you like by pressing this button and all the goods. It's kind of self-explanatory so it's really nice to use. I like it. I actually wasn't lazy last night and tidied up a little bit. And we have Harry Potter on, of course. Have a few messes here. I need to make a grocery list because we're running low on quite a few things. Um, I have a few things on here already. And now need coffee. I have my spooky mug that actually came with a cat topper and I'm just making Melosio. I'll show you. This is my favorite coffee pod. I've tried other ones and I just keep going back to that. Of course I'm going to have my creamer as well. Yum, yum, yum. So cute. <laughs> These are those um, frozen French toast. You just pop them in the microwave and done. He loves them. They actually do taste like French toast too, so that's nice. <laughs> Why are you making 
making faces. Ah, oh, don't poke your eye, babe. Silly boy. Silly, silly, silly babe. Hi, guys. We are outside because it's so nice. Tom is still working, so it's just Liam and I. Liam has the heart of Tafiti <laughs> necklace. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know. He wanted to sit up here with me. Usually he's running around over there. But yeah, I'm just sitting here on our porch, on the bench. Love this. I want to show you guys the flowers. So last time I showed you guys the mums. It wasn't even blooming at all. But here it is now. I think it's been about almost two weeks maybe. Look at this. So nice. Do you want to get down? Careful, please. Okay. So here's the bench. We've had this bench for a while. Um, I think 2017 maybe. Um, it's from Amazon. And it's not on there anymore. But they have it only in black, I think. And this year I finally found a cushion that I liked. Um, that's like tufted and everything. It's really squishy. I love it. <laughs> I'm not giving him chalk because he gets so messy. But yeah, look at all the mums. I love it. They're blooming. We also got a package. Um, but yeah, there's our porch. There's a better view with the little babe over there. <laughs> no touchy. No, no, no touchy the box. Yeah, so there you have it. I just wanted to come outside since it's really nice. Earlier this morning it was super hot with no breeze, but now it's like just the perfect weather with breeze and everything. And yeah, I put makeup on today too, just just because I was hoping Tom might get out of work early and then we can go do something, but I don't think it's gonna happen because he says he has a lot of things to do for his work today. I'm really not sure if you guys will be able to see but there's literally so many butterflies in our yard. It's been like this all week. Just butterflies all over and it is just so pretty. I have Liam here. We have his wagon. We're gonna pull him now. Little boy. I have him tied up so he's not like falling all over but did you see that butterflies everywhere yeah they're all over babe he loves his wagon yeah we'll go back towards the front yard okay so we're in our back right now there's the cornfield some of you asked if that's ours it's not um Pretty much our yard is like where there's no corn, it ends there. So yeah, it goes all the way to the bushes over there and just around our entire house. <sighs> so many butterflies. I love it. It's like Animal Crossing in real life. So funny. Here's my baby. Why are you falling over? Are you silly? He doesn't like that I put the seatbelt on him but see look at him fussing with it I see you don't take it off silly boy he knows how to unbuckle those what's that can I have thank you I think it's nap time baby we have to go inside it's 125 oh no you got dirt on your hands you want to take a nap inside? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's nap time. Okay, we're gonna go inside now, guys. We are now back inside. Little boy said he wanted a nap and his blankie and milk. So, nap time. We'll see if it actually happens. You look cozy, babe. <laughs> Yeah, 
There he goes. He does a really good job of cleaning just our kitchen dining area and also this area because we have pets so food and litter actually gets tracked all over this area and as you can see no mess so that's nice yeah i like him a lot a lot a lot I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but I have Mela Magic on all of these and I'm just letting it soak and now um, the sponge doesn't work, but I have this little tool. I don't know if it's going to focus, but this is actually to take off um, gel nails and I'm just literally slightly. Let me see if I can zoom in here. Do you see all this gunk? That's all the grease that was built up on our stove since we moved here. Um, I could tell they didn't like really clean clean it. Um, and yeah, I've tried a lot of different things to let it soak and come off and nothing ever worked. But Mellow Magic is actually making it super soft and I can just kind of scrape at it a little bit and it comes right off. I mean, there's a lot of things here, so it's gonna take me a while, but at least I'm not sitting here totally scrubbing at my stove. And this area, I don't know if you guys can really see here. This is like completely done. If I, look, look at this, this is so gross. But um, let me just wipe this off. This entire area is grease free. And it's nice and smooth with no like chunky grease. I know it's already like scratched up from like years and years of trying to scrub it off. Um, but really this thing does not ruin it. Like I thought it would like take off the <laughs> enamel or whatever this is called. But it's not. It's just totally lifting the grease. So I'm working on this area right now. So there's a before shot. This is all grease. I'm not sure if you guys... Can you really see it? I have a... There. So you can see all the grease spots. I'm going to go and um, lightly scrape at it with my little tool and then I will show you guys. But the Mellow Magic has been sitting on this for about 10 minutes. And yeah, it's lifting it. It's so nice. Oh my gosh. Nothing else have worked, you guys. I swear. Nothing. Okay, guys. You can see... There's no more black gunks in the corners there. And I'm letting the circle part, like the bottom, soak. Oh my gosh. And actually, Tom took this all apart so I can clean underneath them as well. Hi, I'm still on this one. <laughs> okay, guys. So there's that. I got part of it off, but oh my god. I gave up. But these ones are all clean. That's when I got the outside clean and this is still soaking. We'll see how much I can get off of that. This is going to be a toughie. I don't know if you can see how much grease is on there. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I'm showing you guys this. And I'm watching Supernatural. <laughs> Hi guys, so I'm in my laundry room right now. I have laundry going. I hope you can hear me. I wanted to share with you a few products that I have gotten recently. Like some of these products I've already tried, um, which I'll kind of talk about and let you know how I like it so far. And then some of the products I haven't used yet. As you can see, I have empty bottles right here. So first off, I got these wipes. And I will have everything listed below in the description box. And if I can link them, I will definitely link them. But I wanted to try out this brand, EcoSense. And they have a bunch of different um, cleaning products. And they're all very, very non-toxic. Like, they have really good ingredients, you guys, which is amazing because y'all know I'm a mom. So I have a toddler. And also, I have a dog and a cat. So... 
I just wanted to start using products that is really just better for the environment and for myself and my family. Um, I always use other things before, like especially for cleaning the bathroom and stuff. And some of those items that I use have bleach in it and just like really potent things that like my eyes would be super red by the end of my cleaning process and like it's things that you shouldn't really be breathing in either so i really wanted to try something that's just really good for you and as you can see they come in these bottles and these are like just uh what's it called these are the actual cleaning solutions and you only use a little bit and you put it in the spray bottles that they do provide you so you put just a little bit and then you add water to it so this right here is like going to save you so much money compared to if you were to just buy for example like a miss Myers cleaning product um, I'll have all the information down below if you're interested um, but yeah so I've just been really trying out some of these and really liking it so I got two different wipes right here this one is tough and tender. It's a multi-purpose cleaner. I absolutely love this for just like cleaning really hard messes. And like if I'm lazy to grab a microfiber cloth and the spray, I can just use this and it will take the dirt or whatever dirtiness off. So I really love this. And I do actually have the solution for it or the super concentrated cleaner. And let's see, I have the bottle here. Yeah, I've been using this one especially around the kitchen um, to clean the stove to clean the sink stuff like that this is really really good most of these i think all of them actually um do not contain chlorine bleach ammonia and formaldehyde and just like parabens like seriously it is non-toxic you guys it's really really great so i've been really liking tough and tender and then I also really like the Mellow Magic. You guys saw me use this on the stove and it helped lift up all the grease that has built up since the past owners of the house. They've been here for way longer than Tom and I. And yeah, it really helped lift up all that grease and gunk. And as you can see, I've used that much already. And this one, I think does not come um, with any spray bottles. I could be wrong, but my package didn't come with it. So I just, use this straight up um, and it just gets rid of everything it's amazing so I highly recommend this one it's called the heavy duty cleaner so yeah and I believe all of these also has biodegradable ingredients which is really awesome and this one is the Salomel lemon blossom so I have actually use this one to clean the washer right here you guys know front loaders get really gross once in a while especially if you don't clean it often so i've been doing like a cap full and i just put it in the um detergent dispenser in my washer and then i also did the mellow magic i think i did like two caps of this um i just put that in there too and then after fresh I just throw it in there and it cleaned my washer really really great and it smells really good so I've been using that too that one I actually need to put in a spray bottle because this one is a stain remover concentrate so you can use these on pretty much like any fabric so I'm gonna actually try to use this on our sofa and see if we'll get like some stains off because we have milk stains on the sofa I think there's one milk stain that I just could not get off um, and then we have tub and tile this one is a bathroom cleaner and I absolutely love this I like cleaning my shower while I'm showering is that weird I don't know but I like to do that and with the other products that I would use oh my goodness my eyes would get so irritated and super super red and it's not nice with this one I use it and it works really great it like really cleans my shower but also does not irritate my eyes so I'm not coming out with red eyes or anything like that like I love this I actually need to refill the bottle that's in the shower right now um, and then I also have, where is it? I do not know where I put it. Oh, here. This is Pre-Spot. It is a laundry stain remover. I love this. Uh, as you can see, this was full to the top. Right there, I think. Yeah, it was full to the top there, and then it's already halfway gone. 
this one is really good too. This is way better than Shout. So I've been using this for our laundry and just getting stains off. Um, and then these ones I haven't used yet. As you can see here, I have so many bottles. I have to fill. Oh goodness. So I have these I haven't used. This one is for dishwasher. I can't wait to try this. Um, I heard really good things. Um, and then we have laundry detergent. I can't wait to try that either. And this one I think I have been using. Mella Bright. Yeah, I think I have this one in my little container here. And I use this for my whites. Here it is. Mella Bright. So this is actually good for your whites and colors. I, I know, it's crazy. It says it's color safe whitener. It whitens, it brightens, and deodorizes, and it's just really, really good. So I put this, I mainly, like I said, I mainly use this for my whites, and it really just brightens it up and make, keeps it white, really. So I really have been enjoying that, and I think that's it. Oh no, I got this one too. I haven't tried it out yet, because I'm still trying to use up the products that I do have. You guys know I have a really good stock of cleaning products, so... I'm really trying to use all that up before I get into all this, you know? So, yeah. Anyways, I got the fabric softener, too. And this smells so good, you guys. So, I cannot wait to try this because this definitely smells way better than the Bounds dryer sheets that I use. So, once that's done, which, I don't know, I still have quite a bit left. Um, but once that's done, I will be using this. So, yeah, I'm slowly transitioning my cleaning products to this brand. And so far, I'm pretty happy with it. And like I said, you get this right here. And this is like so many bottles of this. So it will last you a very long time. And it just like really overall saves you money, which you guys know I'm all about saving money. So I'm really happy with that. But yeah, if you're interested in trying these out, I'll have information down below. Oh my God, there's more, you guys. I totally forgot about this. So I also have all these. That's why I was like, wait, I have so many bottles. But I also have these guys that I haven't used yet. This one is Clear Power 12 times. It's a super concentrated glass cleaner. And then I also have this. I've heard a lot about this. This is the Soluguard Botanical Disinfectant. And it kills 99.9% .9 bacteria and viruses. This is amazing. So if you can't, you know, find all the other things get yourself this and I, I don't remember how many bottles this is but I believe yeah like a tiny little bit of this and you add water and you get this so this will last you forever this is amazing so can't wait to try that and then I also have this this is a hand dishwashing liquid soap this one smells really good it's the lemon bright I also have a toilet bowl cleaner. I'm excited to try this out because I'm very particular with toilet bowl cleaners. So I'm interested on in seeing how this one works. I also have the No Work Daily Shower Cleaner. Also have the Rustic Touch Furniture Polish and what is this? Revive a fabric freshener and wrinkle relax concentrate. Ooh, that's interesting. So yeah. Oh, here, here's my pre-spot. I was looking for my pre-spot, but it's like a little tiny thing like this. But, you know, you have so many. It makes so many bottles. But okay, so that's pretty much it. And I have like my pamphlets here. Again, if you're interested, check out the info box down below. Don't mind the apples. But before I end this vlog, I wanted to show you guys how you can easily clean this robot vacuum so i have it upside down right now and you can see this is after i believe one and a half cycle i had it go in our bedroom today and yeah it collects a lot of dust so as you can see this thing just like easily snaps in you press right here and it slides right out super easy then you push this again and i'm scared to do it because things are gonna fall out but that just lifts up and look at all of that. Our bedroom is so dusty. It's crazy. Okay, so yeah, that's it. And then you can change out the filter as well by just taking this out right here. See? Ta-da! And you can like clean that off and 
and whatnot. Okay, and then this part comes off too. You know, hairs get tangled and just fuzzies. So this thing comes right off, it's super easy, and you can clean it out, which is what I do. Like, look at all this hair. <laughs> I just take scissors and like cut it. It's easier to get it all off. I know this seems gross, but I just wanted to show you guys how easy you can clean this robot vacuum. And then it will be all ready to go for its next cycle or cleaning cycle. And here she is, all ready to go for her next adventure. I do really like it. Um, I really do kind of wish I would have gotten one sooner because it's really nice. Like, I don't really have to vacuum as much around our dining area and kitchen and entryway, which is so, so nice. I used to vacuum there like almost every single day. So this little guy helps me out a lot. So definitely check it out. They have other um, kinds or versions of this. But yeah, I will definitely link this one down below in the info box. So that is it for this vlog. Excuse the mess in the background. We are working on a lot of things. But I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any other video requests or questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And I will see you guys soon in my next one.